Hey folks, back again taking a video in front of my, just two of my four, no five bookshelves. I'm a massive bookaholic, biblioholic. I'm well read, just joking. It's my other passion though, books. But back to music, uh, I wanna talk about some more Ortega product. You might remember I did a video of an Ortega ukulele uh, a week or two back, and it led me to look into um, their guitars. If you don't know Ortega, they're a German company, and they're up and coming. You're starting to see a lot more of their uh, instruments um, becoming available in the U.S. Um, so I checked out a couple of their classical guitars, and I, first of all, I want to show you a great gig bag. These come in really nice padded black and tan gig bag with all the right padding backpack straps really nice full pocket but anyway these are the two entry level classical guitars this one is the uh rs 121 or maybe it's just the r120 yeah r121 this is the spruce top uh with maple um binding purfled edges really nice walnut board on this there's the headstock, if I can get a good uh, view of it for you. But these are really nice classical guitars, nylon string guitars, full size, with a sort of a uh, um, wood, dark wood rosette, which is becoming quite a popular feature, opposing sort of the more traditional Spanish style rosettes. Tie bar bridge with maple trim on the tie bar bridge, which is nice. Um, no fret markers except on the side, uh, which is interesting. So this is the spruce version, the R121, the chrome keys with the perloid caps. Um, so I got one of these and I uh, set it up and it looks really good. And here's the cedar version, R22 the cedar version of that guitar. All the same accoutrements, except on the website, on Ortega's website, they call it a sonocling board, um, whereas the spruce, they call it a walnut, but they look the same to me. Um, maybe sonocling is considered a type of walnut. Maybe so somebody can correct me on that uh, if you're watching. But this is the R22. And I think these are very um, compatible, similar to sort of the um, Cordoba C3s, maybe uh, C5s, um, you know, in that they are really nicely made, sound great, uh, nice satin finish on these, no gloss, uh, really nice backwood, uh, sort of a sapele mahogany. Um, nice parts nice neck um, really nice grain on the top on both models so I you know I've had a dearth lately of classical guitars so um, they go quickly so I have to shoot these videos quickly so I wanted to show these they just came in I did the setup uh, yesterday um, and I wanted to show these because I know as soon as I list them uh, they'll be gone so uh, a couple of the entry-level Ortega classicals, the R21 and R22, uh, they do have an R, uh, sorry, 121, 122. They do have an R150 something and a 170 something. So there are upgrades of these models that look very similar, probably uh, more select solid wood on the top. Uh, but these are, are really good uh, considering that they're, they're entry-level Classicals, uh, you know, just like the ukulele that I showed you, I'm very impressed with the workmanship. Sounds great. I think they put Savarez strings on these as well, so they come um, sounding really, really good, except for I had to do some uh, fret end work, which is quite common with most of the guitars I get, and tweak a little bit the, um, the uh, action settings. These come with truss rods too, two-way truss rods, so that makes it a bit easier to do the setup uh, for those of you who do your own setup, it's nice to have a two-way truss rod uh, on a classical. Um, so there you go. Just wanted to show you these from Ortega. See you next time.